ministers failed to conduct a detailed impact assessment on the decision to scrap the winter fuel payment for millions of pensioners, Sir Keir Starmer has acknowledged. His deputy spokesperson clarified that the only assessment carried out prior to the policy announcement was a standard legal one focused on equality's impacts, meaning the potential effects on illness and death rates among the elderly were not formally considered. While speaking to reporters during a trip to Washington, Sir Keir stated, there isn't a report on my desk. You don't have to do one for an exercise like this, but I can sense you think I have a report on my desk, I don't. When asked if he was comfortable with the lack of a specific impact assessment, he did not provide a clear answer. Starmer has been accused of hiding the consequences of the government's decision to cut the winter fuel payment during a confrontation with former Prime Minister Rishi Sunak at Prime Minister's Questions. The government faced criticism for not releasing the document that would reduce the number of pensioners eligible for the payment from 11.4 million to 1.5 million, a reduction that will save more than £1 billion. Labour has justified the move, citing the need to address a £22 billion gap in public finances caused by the previous Conservative administration. During the debate, Mr Sunak challenged Starmer to release the impact assessment, pointing out that Labour's prior analysis suggested the policy could lead to 3,850 deaths. Sunak pressed, are the numbers in your impact assessment higher or lower than that? In response, Sir Keir defended the decision as necessary to stabilise the economy and reaffirmed Labour's commitment to maintaining the triple lock on pensions, ensuring pension payments would remain higher. He concluded by saying, by committing to the triple lock, we can ensure more money in pensioners' pockets, despite the difficult actions we need to take. His pretending everything is fine, that's the approach he took in the election, and that's why we're here, and he's over there.